Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to look at something that was sent to me by Lothari. Lothari? I don't know how you say their name. And they sent me their 14 inch 40 volt chainsaw. First off, we'll look at the battery. It's a 40 volt, 2.5 amp hour. It does have this, that rubber coating on the bottom of it. Looks like a Makita locks on it. Has four lights for the charge. Here's the charger for it. It looks big. That puts at 36 volts at 3.3 amps. So it shouldn't take too long to charge. And the battery goes in at the top like this. It does have a fan in it. And it blows air from the bottom right here and it goes through the battery. And it, it, it's kind of a little hum to it. It's kind of annoying. Here's the chainsaw itself. It does have a functional chain stop. Of actual metal, and it comes with an organ bar and an organ chain. Not surprised. Here's a cover for it. And here's your chain tensioner. Let's turn this tensioner chain. So far, the build of it looks good. I'm not real big on the colors though. White gets super dirty. And turquoise, I guess they're just running out of colors to use. That's the only thing I can figure out. Oil goes up top right here. Got a little window right there. Trigger on it. It's a, it's a little mushy. Alright, let's lube her up for the first time. Got your push lube. And Here goes the bar hole. This saw does have slow startup. This will be the first time I try cutting it. Let's see how it goes. Nice. Alright. Let's see how many cuts I can get out of this without, before the battery dies.
Well, there's the carnage. I think that was like 43, 44 cuts. Logs about seven inch. Of course, some literal ones there too. Not bad. All right, guys. Here we're back at the same log. It's a couple days later. Then that the rain. Got to charge the battery up. Let's see if she'll cut her again. There goes the battery overheated. And, I don't know if you can see it. One bar. Alright guys, since we got the battery down, let's take her apart. For you married folks out there, make sure before you do something you regret, always wear protection. And if you're single, no regrets. uses three pins. Of course one's positive and negative. I wonder if hmm. you got a 40 amp fuse right there. All the balancing is done in the battery. A lot of your other ones the balancing is on the charger. But this one the balancing board's on the battery. Hey, look at there, Samson sales. Eighteen six fifties, twenty five R's. I think those are twenty five hundred milliamp. I do believe. Construction of it looks pretty good.
Now I wonder why they use a four pin. I was nice, not even on the charger. There's only three pins on. Well, one of uh, they would make a four pin, but not use that fourth pin. Hmm. And here's the battery charging. Let's see if you can hear that. Very annoying wind it has. It does that fan in it, so it's pulling air throughout here and then pushing it up through the battery. Alright, guys, there's my look at the Wafari 40 volt 14 inch chainsaw. Overall, I do like it. Uh, construction of it seems pretty good. It held up pretty well. The only time I thought it was struggling, it's pretty much struggling on its own weight. Whenever you saw it, like, sit there and stop, I wouldn't put no weight on it at all. Uh, one downside to it is, I wish it came with a bigger battery. I wish it came with, like, maybe a 5 amp. I think it would do a lot better with it. Um, to me, this is more of a supplement to your gas power chainsaws. I wouldn't use this to replace a gas unless it's something you occasionally use. If you're just following maybe one tree or just cutting up one log for some firewood, this will do great. Other than that, I would just use it as more of a supplement. You know, you occasionally use it. Now, one other note. This looks very familiar to the Lynx brand at Harbor Freight. Well, spoiler alert, they're pretty much the same thing. Nobody has the uh, post off. And I swapped his battery out through it in this, and it worked. Now, price wise, I think these sell for about $169. Comes with a battery and charger. And the ones at Harbor Freight, normally the price for that coupons is $189. I think I seen the coupons for one sixty nine, but these go on sale even cheaper than that. The other day, I was, when I was browsing, these were one forty four. That's a really good value, really, for a forty volt tool. And right now they're uh, one sixty nine. I think they have a five dollar or uh, five percent coupon. So really, in the end, this will be cheaper because this the tool itself has a five year warranty. The batteries have a three year warranty. At Harbor Freight, you got 90 days. Unless you buy the 10 or $15 plan to get the two or the one or two year plan. Alright, for everybody who made it this far, there is a affiliate link down in the description box for this product on Amazon. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down. Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment box if you have any comments or concerns. And if you don't care, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do look at other products, such as the Bauer or anything else from Harbor Freight or anything I can get my little medium-sized hands on. All right, guys, you guys have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time.